All right. So, and Sharon, you might need to do some muting too, or maybe co-host Melissa or somebody so they can do some muting. All right. So my, our, our connection's a little sketchy. We're kind of reporting live from Florida and uh, even we're getting healthy. We're getting hurricane hacks going and we're definitely doing that. You're going to see Sharon's not even going to demo how to make her, her um, bean uh, three bean chili, but it, I see it on the pot back there. So I know what we're having tomorrow and maybe for dinner later, but uh, we're going to share some recipes with you guys. And uh, I know we just started another recording. So let me just kind of start again. My name's Doug Farrar and my wife, Sharon Farrar has the love, love, love uh, shirt on. We also, uh, and thank you so much, Beth. And Natalie, can you put that back into the chat one more time in case somebody signed on late? They'll be able to get that. If you're watching a replay of this and you want to get the uh, cookbook that we're talking about, just ask the person that sent it to you. It's called the Shred Cooking Guide. And it has a lot of great stuff in it, maybe even some of the recipes you're seeing here. But tonight we want to share with you some of the, um, some of the ways that we cook that allow us to make some simple changes. We've learned some things over the years, and while none of us are perfect, it's nice to know what to do, because I think a lot of people just don't even know where to start when it comes to getting healthier. So we wanna share some of that with you guys tonight, and we're also gonna share a little bit about something called the Shred 10. It's kind of a challenge, a 10-day challenge. We're starting next week, and we're gonna invite you guys to join us on that. So. I'm going to turn it, we'll get started right now. We're going to turn it right over to my lovely wife, Sharon, who's going to um, tell you a little bit about what she's learned over the years in this community. Hi, everyone. I am proud and happy to be here tonight on this. I think this community has been one of the best things about sharing Juice Plus. I've been taking and sharing Juice Plus for 23 years now, believe it or not. Um, I was a terrible eater. There were no fruits and vegetables or salads or anything like that in my life. It was more like M&Ms, Coca-Cola, fast food, any food, not understanding the link between nutrition and disease. And then thankfully a friend of mine introduced me to Juice Plus and also our community introduced us to the concept of making simple changes. You know, it's not terrible eating, it's wonderful eating and it's healthier. So we just, we, you know, trade off things. We um, exchange recipes. As you can see, if you're in the simple changes to better health, you guys are welcome to share your own recipes when you're in there. Um, and so tonight is all about, you know, us iron sharpening iron. And so for me, Juice Plus um, was the number one simple change. The complete smoothie was the number two simple change. And believe it or not, flaxseed way back when uh, ground up and put into my smoothie was my third simple change. After that, it was like moving to plant milk and different things, but um, just those three first simple changes, I used um, Juice Plus and the Complete Smoothie and Flaxseed for my second pregnancy and then my third. Um, I am absolutely a lot healthier now in my 50s, I hate to say it, than I ever was in my 20s and 30s. I was totally run down. I had allergies. I had bumps on the backs of my arms, the tops of my legs, and I was looking for my next nap. So um, also antibiotics and all that stuff, you know, after getting a cold, it wasn't like a real short cold. It was like a prolonged antibiotic cold. So Juice Plus has definitely given me the tools to stay on track to better health. And so we're happy that you know about that as well. And whatever manner that you are taking advantage of that, we're just so happy that you're part of the community. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Melissa, who is a pharmacist and an awesome contributor to our community. Thank you, Melissa. Hey, guys. Well, like Sharon said, my name is Melissa, um, and I'm a pharmacist up in Pennsylvania. And I, what I love about the shred and healthy eating is this community and getting support from all the friends and family around me. And it encourages me to continue eating that way. Um, some of the simple changes I've made over the years include parking farther away at work, um, walking. I muted myself somehow, sorry. Um, so walking most days when I get home from work is a simple change that I've done. And um, my sister just got me started at the gym. So I will put some recipes in our healthy group for you. But what I wanted to talk to you about tonight are some simple things I do to get myself ready for the shred. So 
I made some energy bites today during the day while I was on a meeting. So this is mixed up. Um, what I'm gonna do, I mixed all that up. I'm actually gonna put it in an eight by eight pan and then put it in the freezer. And then I'm going to cut it once it's frozen. And then I'll take the little bites and like put them in Tupperware so that I can just grab them. They stay for about a week or so. Um, I put them in the freezer, otherwise I eat them all but they're a great substitution for a cookie, for a piece of chocolate, something filled with more sugar. Some hacks I like to keep healthy, sugar-free peanut butter, what, why does it need sugar? It doesn't, this is just the Aldi brand, just happens to be organic, I have no idea why. Obviously our complete shake mix. And then um, I thought I'd share this even though it's a little funny my enjoy life chocolate chips and they're in a baggie because I ripped them open in the car and I ripped the bag. So, um, and these are free of a lot of allergens. I think they do have a little sugar in them, but anyway, um, so those are some of my hacks. I also buy sugar-free, uh, almond milk. And I believe Karen's going to show us later overnight oats. That is one of my go-to breakfasts. And food prepping, I'm talking really fast, I'm sorry. Um, food prepping with overnight oats and salads is a great way for me to stay on track. Another way I stay on track is I have this little calendar that I downloaded, put it right on my fridge and it is all the shred guidelines. Did I take my juice plus? Did I take a shake? Did I have some water, et cetera? And this really helps me to stay on track and it's not about perfection, it's about progress. So I just really try to do better than I did the month before. And I'm trying to extend it like I know some of us have. Um, some of the great things I've learned along the way from the Shred Guide, which has uh, medical professionals like myself, um, reduced processed foods, they really make you feel like junk. And you really have to think about it sometimes to eliminate them and no late night eating. So no eating after dinner helps you to have an empty belly, helps you to sleep better and sleep helps you regenerate and feel better. So that's all I got for you. Thank you guys for letting me share tonight. Awesome, thanks, Melissa. Hey, I have a question for you. So I've been eating oatmeal in the morning pretty uh, yeah. somewhat regularly now. So with the overnight oats, I'm always hesitant. Like I always like, so you literally just put the stuff in a jar and in the morning your oatmeal's ready? Yeah, I think that's, I think Karen's going to tell us about it. Yeah, I, I put mine in a bowl of Tupperware, a Tupperware or glass because sometimes I do warm it up a little bit. Um, I just happen to use quick oats. I think you can use regular oats, but the liquid okay. just makes it soft. Well, I'm looking forward to that. We're, and I, we're actually going over to Karen uh, next. And, and coming up pretty soon, Sharon, who I might be biased, but I think she makes the best shake out there. I mean, I've had a lot of shakes from a lot of people, and sometimes th they could be better. So you want to listen to Sharon's advice on shakes, and it's coming up. But right now, let's go over to Karen Orlowski, who's going to give us um, some more tips, including those overnight oats. Hey, guys. Yes. So I feel like I need to go first next time because like Sharon, Sharon and I, our story, our health story is kind of the same. I grew up with that. So I'm always like, ditto. <laughs> So yeah, I grew up with allergies and asthma. My mom was a nurse. And so I got the best treatment. And it wasn't until my 30s that somebody was like, you know, take out, stop eating the Pop-Tarts and drinking Slurpees. And um, it's just has been amazing. So between Juice Plus and changing my eating habits, Juice Plus and the shakes were my first two simple changes. And then it was giving up soda. You're right. Like I don't go very fast. So I have to give up one thing and I do it for 30 days until it's out. And then I can pick something else and then, you know, be done with that. And that's kind of where we help you a little bit with the shred, like giving up or reducing something for 10 days. If you can do that, a lot of times you'll feel better and you're going to want to continue with that, which is amazing. So that's why we do this every single month, because a lot of people want this every single month. A lot of people will do kind of a... Um, a little bit of a shred, like they do shred Monday through Friday, and then maybe they give it up, you know, and have fun on the weekends. So let me go over my kitchen is a mess, but it's all good, right? Like I wish I was Rachel Ray and I had a cleanup crew. Um, so these are overnight oats. I, my son requested these, and this is chocolate with peanut butter, and it's so good. And it's 
I can't remember all the ingredients. There's not a lot, but it's like almond milk. It's the oats. It's chocolate. I actually put real peanut butter in here. It's the juice plus complete chocolate protein. Um, I can't remember what else is in there. And then this is cookie dough. So this is my jam. I love the cookie dough overnight oats. And my son is the chocolate and peanut butter. And Doug, yeah, you simply just put all of the ingredients in here and you shake it up and you, I put it in the fridge overnight. You can heat it up. I usually eat it right out of the jar because I can't wait. Um, so I need to prep or else I am going to reach for things that are not healthy. Like that's my, I, sometimes when I come home and I'm just hungry, I need stuff to be done. So I will do a lot of cooking and I love what I love. And I'm super excited because Croctober is coming up guys. So you're going to want to be in that group for Croctober, but I am making right now a, um, creamy herb, potato, mushroom, and kale soup. I wish it was done and um, I could show you, but I'm going to post the recipe. I'll post the recipes for the overnight oats in there. And I'll post this soup recipe in there. I also have made um, the sweet potatoes and the rice and the black beans. I have that all ready to go because I'm making a black bean and sweet potato burger. And those are awesome because you can put them together, form them, cook them, and then throw them in the fridge and then just take them out and heat them up really quickly when you need them. So there are so many with, you know, the internet now, there are so many places you can go with healthy recipes that it just makes it so easy. So for me, again, the more I can make ahead of time, and I know this is before our shred is even starting, but I do this just on a daily basis. If I have healthy stuff in the fridge, then that's what I'm going to go for. If I don't have anything in there, I'm going for pretzels. I'm going for junk food. What I love about this community is that it does help me to kind of stay on track with that. And trust me, if there's a brownie sitting there, I'm going to eat a brownie, but I so crave the healthier foods. Now that is, that has been metabolic reprogramming, right? Like that has been one of the biggest changes for me is, you know, I would wake up in the morning and I would crave soda and I was eating junk food all day. And now I actually crave kale. I crave all that healthy food. So that's one of the things when you change your diet, you add juice plus that's been just a huge um, aha and bonus for me. So I am super excited because Natalie, who's next, um, I know what she's, I know what she's going to be telling you guys. And it is, it is delicious and it's beautiful. So, all Thanks, right, Natalie. Karen. I'm ready to eat some of those um, cookie dough oats. <laughs> My name's Natalie and I'm coming from um, South Florida. We're safe, thank goodness, from the hurricane. Um, the things that I love about this community, especially like the Shred 10 is the encouragement, the accountability, um, the awareness it really brings me to stop eating things that are processed um, just because it's quick and easy and just gives me that motivation to take the extra 20 or 30 minutes out of the week to do some meal prepping. And it's like the one simple change really sets you up for success. So the first thing I wanna show that I love to make is a tray full of veggies. So easy. Um, the hardest part is washing them all. So I have butternut squash that was pre-cut from Trader Joe's, um, trimmed organic green beans, um, carrots, peppers, and asparagus, super easy. If you wanna throw your protein in it too, you can do that and you can have a tray dinner. Um, throw it in the oven for 20 minutes or so, depending on what you're cooking. I, you can season it how you like. If you'd like to put in oil, salt, pepper, lemon pepper, paprika, garlic salt. I mean, it's whatever your taste buds feel. Super easy if you have a veggie that um, maybe gets cooked faster than another one, just open up the oven, put it to the side and then um, throw the tray back in. So that's awesome. Another easy hack for um, that I've learned is to have quick and easy access to snacks and items. I love my stasher bags. I usually have a bunch of veggies cut up in them um, once I roast them or raw, but since all my veggies are on that tray, here's fruit super simple and easy. And um, I have little ones, so the glass Pyrexes is not safe for them to grab. So we're all going into fall, um, waiting for that sweater weather to happen here in Florida. <laughs> but you know, we all like to enjoy soups and stuff like that. So the next um, shred meal that I like and that we make probably twice a month and it's super easy is the cauliflower soup. My daughter's in kindergarten and she's able to make this 
she helps pour in the vegetable stock, helps cut up the cauliflowers. Um, you cook that for a little bit and then you throw in cashews and salt and pepper and just however you'd like to season it, garlic. And it's super easy, throw it in the blender and then you have soup. So here's some that we made yesterday. I garnish it with whatever you like. I didn't have any microgreens tonight, so I had pumpkin seeds. Um, you know, so it's just all about eating more whole foods. Uh, another thing I like about the shred is that it helps me stop my late night snacking. I'm doing the dishes late at night, so I always tend to go and uh, go in the pantry and eat something before bed, which is so bad for you. Don't do that. <laughs> So that really helps me out and also is um, reducing my alcohol. I pretty much don't drink and I love that um, I get two shakes in a day. So. Wow, that is great. Thanks, Natalie. And I can't. So I bet you that soup gets really creamy with those cashews, right? It's like super really, yum. Yeah, it's Super amazing. Delicious. So that that's I'm glad you did that because I actually have cashews soaking right now in the um, fridge and you learn hacks like that being in our healthy community guys so if you are a guest on this make sure you ask the person that invited you to get put into our healthy facebook group because there's tons of recipes like this we're just scratching the surface but i can't believe i'm seeing things tonight that i've never made i haven't made a lot of these things i've never done overnight oats and i've never done a, a creamy soup and that is pretty exciting although I have a great um, Alfredo recipe, and I think it's in our in the in the group uh, on the Facebook. But uh, the Alfredo, you'd be surprised how good it comes out with nutritional yeast and uh, the those cashews. It's amazing. All right, well, man, thanks you guys. That's so great. I'm going to share a little bit about this thing called the Shred Ten. And my computer is a little rough tonight. I don't know what's going on, but um, like right now I'm actually frozen. But can you guys see it now, Sharon? Yes. Oh, we're good. Okay, so we're doing this thing called the Shred 10. We actually do it every month at the beginning of the month. And we want to invite you guys to join us, whether you're already a, a, a part of the Juice Plus community or if this is a new thing for you, uh, we would love for you to shred with us. So the reason we want you to shred and the reason we shred, and we've been doing this for years, guys, and we don't do it every month, and we don't always do a perfect shred, but this is part of the thing that leads you to these little simple changes and you kind of get better and better. The reason why though is, I mean, could you imagine, wouldn't you want to be craving more fruits and vegetables, not forcing yourself to eat them? What about being at a healthier weight naturally without starving yourself or anything? What about better recovery from your workouts and sleeping better and having more energy, um, healthier skin, nails, uh, and, and hair improves regularity. You know, nobody likes to talk about constipation and it's not really a problem, right? Until it's a problem, then you really want to talk about it. Well, this will help you. Um, and also just having men increased mental clarity. And some of the things we're going to do with that, one of the things we're going to recommend that you do, and part of the Shred 10 is to take um, Juice Plus products, which, um, you know, our pl products are all plant-based. Look at all the stuff you get when you're taking our, our trio, our fruit, veggies, and berries blend, but also using our complete smoothie mix. Imagine eating just a little bit of all those different foods every single day. You see, Juice Plus is not a, a, a supplement. It is a food product, okay? So it has a food label on it, and it's real food. You know, so it's just they take out the water, sugar and salt and they, they get it down into powder form. And then here we go. And you're just you're getting that essence of that nutrition. So it's really, really good. Um, one of the reasons we love our not only does our, our smoothie mix, is it not it's vegan, but it, it, it also tastes great. Um, and I just want to clarify, it is vegan. I know I said the word not before that it is vegan, <laughs> but um, um when you eat something when you snack have you ever done this like god forbid you have like a snickers bar or something or you eat a bagel when you're hung hungry mid-morning it's so satisfying right away but then like an hour later and by lunchtime you're dying because you're so you're so hungry well that's because it has a um it has a high glycemic index that means that 
that sugar spikes and then it falls off and then there you are you need it again but with a low glycemic index food like our complete smoothie it just raises it up and gets you in that zone that we like to call the willpower zone because when you're not starving you can make better choices on your food so the complete smoothie is going to be really good for you in that and we're going to um actually let you have two of those a day on the shred 10 which is pretty awesome so it's low glycemic, it's vegan, it's gluten-free, it's plant-based, and it's got prebiotic fiber. So it's powerful, it packs a punch, and it's a very satisfying meal. I love those things, man. They keep me going. Um, all right, so you can use that as a pre- or post-workout, and we usually have it for breakfast. And if you are making those overnight oats, you can put it, the, a scoop of that right into the oats and you're still getting all that nutrition. And then in the afternoon or even for dinner, it's a great, great thing. All right. So what we're going to do during this shred 10 is we're going to shred the toxins and some bad habits that aren't serving you. And maybe we're going to replace it with something new. All right. So what we're going to do is we want to add more plant foods and we're going to add juice plus uh, capsules every single day pages for 10 days um, you're going to have one or two complete shakes a day all right so you're going to make those smoothies and sharon's about to show you how we're going to have plenty of water so we're going to monitor our water intake we're going to take uh, 10 deep breaths and really just kind of like focus ourselves and breathe and calm down for a few minutes a day you're going to get seven to eight hours of sleep so if you're used to just getting quick five or six we're going to ask you to go for seven or eight and you're going to exercise most days all right that's what you're going to add in and for some of you you're already doing some of that next we're going to reduce or eliminate okay and this is where some people it's a struggle sometimes but it's only 10 days we're going to ask you to try but if you don't you can still do this program you're still going to get some benefit um, what if we eliminated or reduced alcohol and caffeine for 10 days it's going to feel really well, it might not feel so good the first day, but after that, it starts to feel really, really good. Um, stop eating after 6 p.m. So it gives your body some time to almost do like a little bit of a fast before the next day. And then we're going to eliminate processed foods. This is really important because we're getting a lot of junk in our system from all this processing of foods. All right. So we're going to eliminate those. Um, we're going to eliminate gluten and dairy. All right. All right, Doug, you're getting a little crazy. Trust me um dairy causes inflammation gluten can cause inflammation and I, i'm going like this with my hands because when i don't eat that stuff i can it's like i can feel the, the my sausage fingers get smaller or something they feel good and my joints don't hurt it's amazing so we're going to get rid of that and we're going to get rid of refined sugars okay i know it seems like a lot but um you can do it so here's our packages with juice plus uh, when you get the, the fruit, veggies, berry, you're looking at $118 a month for this package. This gives you um, meals with your um, complete protein. It also gives you the fruit, veggies, and berries. And uh, you can connect with the person that invited you here to get started on that. They also have all this information and all the, um, the recipe books. They can put you in the community and all that good stuff, okay? So we're going to keep rolling along here, and Sharon's going to um, give us a little demo and some tips on how to make the perfect shake. Okay. I know Doug's also coming down here to show you the perfect hummus. Um, okay. So first of all, though, I wanted to tell you during the shred or during any time, um, it's, it's just good to have some things prepared that you could just warm up. And Karen and I were talking about like having a baked potato already warmed up in the fridge so that when you're hungry, it doesn't turn into hangry. Um, so uh, having a baked potato in the fridge and then I'm making some vegetarian chili. It's called three bean and it's just peppers, onions, jalapeno, veggie broth, which I love using this, um, this bouillon. So I don't always have to wonder, do I have veggie broth at home? And then um, it's just beans and some tomatoes and you can play around with it. And then what we do is we do toppings, you know, um, we might do tomatoes as a topping. We might do cilantro as a topping. Um, we do blue chips, we crush them up. And, you know, notice that we're avoiding as much as possible giving you recipes that have meat and dairy. And that's because there's plenty of recipes out there like that, right? So for our group, we like to share with you um, 
this type of a cookbook, which is gluten-free, dairy-free, things like that, because you guys already know how to have chicken with a meal, how to have beef with a meal, things like that. So we're, we're trying to show you how to also have meatless Monday or not to have um, meat or dairy like during all of your meals, things like that. So the other couple things that are in the chili are just um, different types of beans, black beans. This one has black um, kidney and pinto. And then um, to make it thicker, you add vegetarian um, refried beans. That'll make it thicker if you want it thicker. And then I just happened to find some corn my daughter loves if I add corn to the chili. So I'm going to do that. Anyway, so that's a nice staple to have, you know, and you can warm it up, things like that. And so did you want to show the hummus, then I'll show the complete? Or you want to? No, I thought you were okay. doing the complete. Okay, I'm doing it now. All right, so how we start our day in this family and even end our day, because our son comes home from um, the produce around 11 something, and he's having smoothie leftovers. So we kind of re-blend this smoothie all the time. And so we use um, unsweetened vanilla flavored almond milk, but there's oat milk, there's rice milk, there's all types of milks. And so tonight I'm just doing like one serving. We've already got some leftover uh, other um, smoothie for Matthew. So one serving, and I saw that Mike was on here. Mike, I hope you're still here, but we've already talked about how he wants to make a smoothie with vanilla. We have vanilla or chocolate. This is actually the ultimate meal. We have a naturopathic nutritionist who has looked at many food diaries for breakfast, and she said, hands down, this is the complete meal. It has a complete amino acid profile. It has things I would never eat if you put it on a plate, but are so healthy for you, like the healthy countries eat it. And so um, it helps you with fiber. It helps with the glycemic index, like Doug said, and it gives you nutrients. You want nutrients in your body. So anyway, one scoop of complete per eight ounces of water or plant milk. Um, and then you can add whatever you want. It's always good to add either like a banana or some kind of fat or avocado, something to make it just a little bit thicker. Doug likes oat milk because it actually makes things thicker. And then I'm just gonna add some peanut butter just for visual for you guys. We do peanut butter or almond butter. And then um, for fun, we add like a couple cherries. Like you don't need very many because they're sweet. They're super sweet. And that just kind of helps you round out the smoothie a little bit. So I'm just gonna do like two, that's all you really need. And then um, ice. So the secret to my smoothie is ice. I like to bring the blender to its knees, okay? So you <laughs> wanna add as much ice as you can till your blender almost wants to quit. So um, I don't know if I've done that with this um, particular eight ounces, but we'll see. All right, so I think that's it. And it's good to have a good blender that doesn't give you ice crystals. Doug hates that. All right, I'm yeah. gonna blend, so hold your ears. Oh, there we go. Well, we're gonna stop there. Usually, she would add a little more ice. Usually, I would probably do more, but I'm um, for oh, yeah. time's sake. Here's the smoothie. Yeah, watch out for the it's ninja yummy. blender. I yum, found yum. that the ninja leaves ice crystals. Yeah. Um, Vitamix obviously is a great blender. This is the Blendtec, another kind of a premier level um, blender. Um, we found that before we got the Blendtec, the um, what's it called? KitchenAid. KitchenAid worked really yeah, well. There was nothing but man. I'll tell you what. We got the Ninja once. Didn't work for me. I also got a Ninja food processor, and it didn't work so well. I like stick with my Cuisinart on that. I just want to add one more thing. Uh -huh. I also add pecans to my smoothies sometimes. Really. All right, hummus. This recipe is uh, definitely around and it's in our group because I'm always making hummus. Um, food processor. This is two cans of chickpeas. So I'm doubling the recipe here. Uh, two cans of chickpeas. Two cloves. So we're going to do lots of twos to keep it simple. Twos. Um, this is two cloves of garlic. Um, how about the juice of two lemons? Now, you know, lemons are kind of like garlic. If you did a little bit extra, nobody's going to complain. All right. Then we've got um, salt, pepper, cumin. I like to put a little paprika as well. So we get our, our spices going in there. If you want a real authentic hummus, get some tahini. Um, if you're just making it with, oh, this is going to be, I think, a half cup. 
maybe two thirds cup. I don't know. About that much. Um, you could also use olive oil if you wanted to. And one of my secret weapons is some fresh parsley off the tower garden. I'm gonna save a little bit as a garnish. Put it in there. And this is gonna make amazing hummus. For the sake of time, we're going to not blend this as long as I usually would. Um, oh, 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 it's so good. Okay, you use a little bit of water and you can thin it out. Oh, cold water is even better. Tell them what you eat with the hummus. That's what I'm going to say. The great thing, here's why I love hummus. It's legumes and has a little bit of fat in it with tahini, you know. But um, you can dip lots of stuff in it. We use this around here. I like to use uh, carrots, celery if I want to be extra healthy, uh, peppers, little tomatoes. Um, man, you can do all kinds of good stuff like that. If you want to be not quite as healthy, you could get some like non bread or pita bread. We have this little griddle top on the stove right here. And I'll heat up some non bread until it's just a little bit crispy. I'll tell you what, that'll make you want to slap your mama. Okay, so um, what else do we do with? Oh, you can make, she likes to make hummus wraps. So I'll just keep a lot of that around. So hummus is good. We always got the hummus among us in this house. All right, so I hope you guys got some value out of this. Um, hope you'll consider doing the shred 10 with us. And some of you guys, okay, I'm just gonna go direct. I know there's people that are gonna watch this that have been thinking about doing the shred. And there's always a reason, da, da, da. listen, Today's the first day of the rest of your life, okay? No excuses. We got a hurricane. I mean, we got a, look at this. In my living I mean, come on, guys. We're shredding. In fact, we're starting now. We're making all shred food for the hurricane. We got our so staples. We're ready to go. So, guys, think about doing the shred. Shred. Talk to the person that invited you. I'm sorry we went over 30 minutes, but um, we my made fault. it. I didn't want to say it once, I, but I know. we were going to review the tape afterward. Yeah. But um, <laughs> hey, you guys have a great, great uh, weekend. Keep it safe. Reach out to that person. You got to order your Juice Plus stuff now so you can get it in time. Even if you think you're not going to get it in time, talk to that person and you can still get rolling and then just start the Juice Plus stuff after you get going. But I'll tell you what, it just might change your life. It has for us. And uh, it might change your health, making these simple changes. So everybody, you have a great night. Thank you so much for all the people that shared tonight. You yes. guys were amazing. I'm going to stop the recording and stop the live. And thanks again for coming, guys.